Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. We offer this Mass for the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We come to bless our God, to praise Him for His good, for His very good things He's doing for us, to be worthy to be in the presence of God. Let us call to mind our sins and pray for God's forgiveness. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Yes. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O oh God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal Mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles, too, had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa when in a trance I had a vision something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter, slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time, a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angels standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you, by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles, too. The Word of the Lord. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. 
When shall I go and behold the face of God? Thirst my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. Thirst. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and thought, slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. I have come so that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. In John chapter 10, Jesus describes the relationship between him and us, his people, as that one between the good shepherd and his sheep. The good shepherd takes care of the sheep. So Jesus, as a good shepherd, gathers us together every morning and provides our needs. And after that, Jesus sends us out into the wider world, leading us to where there is safety. Jesus, the Good Shepherd, at sunset brings us back and gives us peaceful sleep. Jesus, when we are hungry, gives us food because he is a Good Shepherd who cares for all the needs of his sheep. So the relationship between us and Jesus is like a shepherd and a sheep, a good one indeed. So he's continually taking care of us, supplying all that we need. And in today's gospel reading, he sees himself as the gatekeeper, the church as the sheepfold. Jesus is the gatekeeper, and he says, anyone who must reach the sheep must come through the gate. And any sheep that must go out must pass through the gate. So he is in charge of the gate, making sure that there is security, there is soundness always for the sheep. So our Lord Jesus says he is the gatekeeper who restores security for us, restores peace for us. So when we have this gatekeeper, then our soul must always rest. Our mind must be at peace because there is someone taking care of us, someone being there for us always, giving us all that we need. In times of danger, he says we should never be afraid because he is there for us. In times of hunger, he says he's going to give us food 
because the good shepherd protects the sheep, guides the sheep, leads the sheep to safety, and feeds the sheep. And this is what Jesus does for us. When you gather in the Eucharistic Assembly, he surprise all these things for us, spiritually and physically. And he makes sure that what we need for the day is provided for us. So as we gather around the table of God today, our Lord Jesus is telling us that what we need for today is given you. What you need for the day, Jesus is going to give you. So never be in, in want because he is always there for you. And he's opening the church to all people. The gate is open for all to come in, both Jews and Gentiles, male and female, young and old. Everybody must come to him. When you come to him, he will feed you. He knows us. He knows each one by his or her name. So, beloved, don't think that you belong to the, the many, the many sheep. No, Jesus knows you personally. And he calls you by your name. When you are in need and you call to him, he answers you. He supplies your need personally to you. So our Lord Jesus is opening the gate to many people. All of us must know this. That's why in the first reading of today, we hear that Peter is explaining to the assembly that God is opening the door for all people to come to him. Jews and Gentiles, so there should not be any hindrance for anybody. So he is not in a position to put any hindrance for the non-Jews not to become Christians. He's even encouraging them that they should come to Christ because Christ has opened, the, the gatekeeper has opened the gate for all of us to share in his love, to share in his banquet. So this morning, our Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd, is telling us that he is preparing us for the day. He's giving us what we need for the day, the protection we need for the day, Christ is giving us. The strength we need for the day, Christ is giving us before he sends us out to the wider world to do the daily activities. And in the evening, he will be there to bless us again. So we are encouraged every morning to come to Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who surprised the need for the day, when you come to him, we give you the, the right equip, equipment you need for the day, the right strength for the day. So that when you go out to the wider world, nothing evil will happen to you. This is the shepherd we are following, the shepherd who cares, the shepherd who is ready to lay down his life for the sheep, the shepherd who stands in defense of the sheep when the enemy strikes, the shepherd who is promising us that he will never going to abandon us. This is your Lord. So worship him, follow him, and all your deeds will be supplied. He says, he will, he will be with you. Even when you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, he will be there for you because he's going to protect you and give you all that you need. Always remember, we have a shepherd who cares and who is there for us every time. Let us pray to our God who has promised to supply all our needs and he will give us what we need. For the church, may the spirit of truth and love always inspire welcome and, he and healing to all who approach her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear. For people throughout the world, may Christ's message of love reach every heart and mind. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. For all the tensions in escalating around the world, that the Holy Spirit come into that tension and that love and mercy flow from that. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. For all who feel left out or marginalized from communities and society, may the Lord grant them in inclusion and connection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. For this assembly, may our prayers and support help open the hearts of those discerning a call to the priesthood or religious life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. For all who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they soon be brought through 
the heavenly gates, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. It's in our Father, merciful that, mindful that there is no end to your mercy. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just, our duty and salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The sun and the eyes, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make hold, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. You proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the blood of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and with all your saints who have praised you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses. As we forgive us for trespass against us, we need to say that to forgive us for us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your world, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of all. Lamb of God, take away the sins of all. Lamb of God, take away the sins of all. Lamb of God, take away the sins of all. Lamb of God, take away the sins of all. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Mighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network. 